So what if you don't have any XML and you want to write a sample? Or okay, you want to write one from an XSD or a sample? You can do that with FME2, and um, we're going to do that again right now. Okay, and um, hope and that was foreshadowing a little bit. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so having fun here. So what I want to do, remember those CSV files that I wrote out? Imagine that I wanted to write XML. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to open the CSV file here. Open with Workbench. And we're going to say, we're going to note that with, so when you're reading CSV, always click the parameters because you'll notice it's quite common that the first line has the field names. Okay, so I go like that. Now I'm going to pick two CSVs at once because I'm lazy and I don't want to actually go in and do this twice. And I go like that. And the writer format we're going to say is text file because, again, I'm going to use transformers to build this. And the output file is going to be, um, what am I going to call it? Let's call it new order wed.xml. Okay, save. And I'm going to say, okay, just like that. And I want both of them. Okay, that guy can go over there, and you'll see that I have these guys here. Okay, so what I want to do now is I actually want to write XML based on an example. So I'm going to use the XML Templater, which is really in a, 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 a transformer that understands um, XML and allows really clever substitution. Well, I want to use that orders guy, but I don't actually, imagine I don't actually have a sample. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this generate button down here, and I'm going to go to the orders dot um, XSD document, and I'm going to load it in. Okay, and I don't know the path to the element because this is a root, so I go like this, and it basically generates me an entire um, root document with all the, showing me all the values I have to put in. Well. I'm going to ha build things for customers and I'm going to build things for orders like this so I get rid of those like that because this is the root part okay and I'm going to say okay now I have this now I need to somewhere to connect customer and order so each of those is going to be um, another sub part of this so I'm going to say plus here and I'm going to call one customer okay and I'm going to go here and again I'm going to generate and in this case, well, I've got to specify the same XSD document. But in here, the path I want to do is customer is, is um, root customers customer. Okay. And if you looked at the XML, you would see that, uh, that it's, that's pretty, uh, pretty simple. So I go like that. And now I have that one done. And then I'm going to do one for order. Okay. Oh. Minus. I'm going to do another one for order. Okay. It's exactly the same thing. We have two minutes. Okay. And I generate schema location, orders.xsd. Okay. Path to element is going to be root slash orders slash order. I say yes. Okay. I've generated that. I can say okay here. Now I have a place to connect customer and order. I need something to connect to root, but there's only one output, so I use something called a creator, which creates sort of a dummy feature, and this dummy feature um, has nothing on it. Now I go up to root, and I have to sub in customers and attributes. So I grab the customer, I simply, oh, I don't need to drag and drop, I can just double click, and uh, I go here, and I double click, and so now I'm going to have this XML document. Okay, and I click to text file, and I run, and it's not going to get anything out because, of course, I forgot to connect the result. Okay, so I go like that, and assuming it worked, okay, a lot of moving parts here. I go to output, and new orders wed, that's it, and there you go. There is, I forgot one piece. Okay, and we'll do it for customer, but we won't do it for, uh, you'll see these company name values here. What I didn't do was I didn't put my, I didn't fill them in. So I'll do one and then you get the idea, right? So now they'll all be company name. And so you can see why it's called the templater, because it builds me an XML framework, and then I can put in anything. So we'll do the phone too, just so we can see, just for fun. Okay, phone, 
and we go like this. So and like, that's right. So for each one of these, it's pulling those values and putting it into the XML. So now when I run it, okay, and I open it, you can see now that those values have been substituted in and there's a repeating group and you can see all the different values. And so there you go.